In this video, I will show you how to build a fully functional kayak using pine tree branches and a tarp. The secret is on how to properly bend branches into stringers and ribs and properly wrap the tarp around the frame. My kayak is as lightweight and portable as it gets, yet is still remarkably stable and durable. It weighs less than 5 kilos and is only 3 meters long. Frankly, I didn't expect my kayak made of branches and tarp to be so high quality, rugged and sturdy. Its design is ideal for fishing in secluded lakes when fishing access is difficult from the bank. This lake has an abundance of weeds and foliage, which makes bank fishing difficult. This morning I tried to cast from the bank but had little success because of the weeds. My luck has changed quickly as soon as I started fishing from the kayak. Unfortunately, my camera's battery died by the time I caught some large fish. This lake is so secluded I might be the first fisherman here in decades. There was so much fish in this lake, I never even fished in Lake Ladaga that season. My kayak proved to be very versatile. I found it to be equally good for cruising in calm waters and for traveling down rapids. As you can see, my kayak is so portable, I can easily fit it inside of my camping dome. The dry frame weighs exactly 4 kilos plus 800 grams for the green tarp. It is 80 cm wide and 40 cm tall in the midsection. As you might have noticed, I tested two different types of tarps. The blue tarp, being cheaper, is more durable but less flexible, while the green tarp is lighter, more flexible and still absolutely waterproof. I am at a peninsula that has five lakes located virtually next to each other. I can easily carry my kayak from one lake to another. The kayak is so stable, I can easily stand in it. Such good stability and maneuverability comes at the expense of tracking. However, I'm okay with it. There is one noticeable flaw in this setup. The tarp can't handle being knocked about. I even ripped it once while paddling over a rock. However, I could easily fix the leak on the spot by rewrapping the hole in tarp so that the torn section ended up above the water level. There were a lot of rainy days that season and I had to use the kayak's tarp to set up a canopy. The green tarp is made of Oxford polyester and can take pressure of up to 6 meters of water column. Theoretically, one could build a framed submarine from that fabric and submerge the 6 meters in it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any specs on the blue tarp. Please note, my homemade plastic grommets can be adapted to be used for canopy installation in a matter of minutes. It takes only a few minutes to restore the canopy's tarp back to the kayak once the rain has ended. However, in my case, the rain wouldn't stop, so I left the tarp in place and used the plastic wrap for the kayak's skin instead. I was surprised how well the plastic wrap worked for its price. I tested this plastic wrap skin kayak extensively on Lake Ladega and was quite satisfied with the substitution. You might have seen my video about making pine tree cordage. This primitive rope is called visa. To make it, I separated the wooden fibers by twisting a pine branch. As a result, a piece of branch becomes flexible like a rope. Such cordage was used by seamen in the past. Ironically, while making this rope, I was thinking about how to bend wood so that it keeps its new shape and would preserve its initial stiffness. I was able to achieve that goal with my next project. I played with different types of wood and found the pine tree branches to be ideal for making bent ribs. Such ribs are lightweight and durable. My kayak's frame is made of bent branches and wood planks. It consists of two oval frame ribs, a number of round ribs, eight stringers, as well as a stern and stern post. Please note, the improvised bending jig is cone-shaped and you can use it to make the frame parts of different sizes. You can use it to make the oval and curved ribs. If you need a small round rib, you can use any tree for the task. Please note, I debarked the pine tree branches right before bending them into shape. 
The debarked branch will dry out and hold its shape in just one day. Then you can take it out from the jig. This is a complete kit of ribs for one kayak. I tried to connect the ends of this branch using tongue and groove but found it unnecessary and a waste of time. So I just overlapped the ribs ends and taped them together. Such lap joints proved to be equally strong. Next step is to find a good material for the frame stringers. You can use a number of leafed tree branches, but I decided to use a different approach. I found a naturally falling and splintered pine tree and used its planks. Such nature created planks are extremely strong because the grain of the wood follows the plank, as opposed to being partially severed by a saw cut. They are almost as strong and light as carbon fiber that is a little hard to come by in the middle of nowhere. I ended up using 8 stringers for my kayak. And now we can assemble the frame. You can use natural materials to connect the whole parts, but I use scotch tape. It works like a charm and what's great is the ribs joints end up being padded, which will help to keep the tarp or plastic skin from tearing if you paddle over a rock. You can also use the PET tape to connect the frame parts, but I found such strength to be unnecessary. Unlike the holes of manufactured fuselage frame kayaks, my kayak's frame is very stiff, even without the skin. Like I said earlier, I prefer to use the scotch tape over the PET tape for the frame's joinery. However, the bottle cutter tape is ideal for holding the tarp. I still like to wrap my kayak tightly with tarp. In order to do so, I made these removable plastic grommets before I left for this trip. Let's talk about how to make them. We will need PVC siding leftovers, a simple press, a heat gun and scissors. Once you heat the PVC siding, it will become highly pliable. We will transfer it to the press and stamp our first grommet. It only takes a few seconds for plastic to harden in the mold. Now we can cut the grommet and drill two holes for the rope. Lastly, we will cut the bottom out. You can use a file or sandpaper to smoothen the edges. This type of grommet doesn't damage the fabric under tension, unlike regular grommets. You can quickly remove and reinstall it in a different place. These grommets are ideal for use on canopies, tents and fuselage frame boats. More detailed information on my grommets, including additional video instructions and sketches, can be found on my Instagram. The link is in this video's description. I should mention here that the kayaks you saw in this video were built in 2015. Since then, I made many more similar vessels and gained a lot of experience in kayak building. The new prototypes were significantly improved. In the future, I'm planning to publish videos about my other vessels, such as this transformer cat made of four inflatable carrying bags, my new polymer kayak, which proved to be much more resilient than the tarp kayak. I've paddled it over underwater rocks on purpose, but the new reinforced skin could easily hold up. We'll talk about my sailing catamaran made of two fuselage frame kayaks. The polymer reinforced skin brings the kayak's weight to about 10 kilos and costs more than my almost free of charge plastic wrap kayak. The good news is that you can try the plastic wrap model first and upgrade it to the polymer modifications later if needed. It can be done right over the old skin. I will share my experience of doing that in one of my upcoming videos. I've filmed a lot of interesting material while traveling in the last few years and plan to publish more videos in English on the 1st and 15th of every month. The best way to thank the creator is to click the share button. Let good people watch good videos. I appreciate your support. This is Maxi Gorov and I hope to see you here again.